In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Bybit API keys and how to connect it to three commas, both for spot and futures exchanges. It is recommended that you perform these steps on a PC or a laptop, as it is easiest when you're able to have two tabs open, one for Bybit and one for three commas, like this. One for Bybit and one for three commas. The first step is go to Bybit, log in, or create a new account uh, on www.bybit.com. I've already logged in in my account, as you can see right here. And what you need to do is open the API dashboard. Hover over this um, profile icon on the top right corner, then click on API. API secret key will only appear once upon creation and hidden afterwards. The next step is click create new key and then name your API key. You need to choose connect the third party applications and choose three commas from the list. Next step is you're going to select the permissions. So it depends on what market you want to trade on. Contract, this section is for futures. And the spot is for spot trading. Choose read or write and then for futures click on orders and positions and for spot click on trade. The don't change or click any of the other boxes. If you want to trade only on spot then you can just choose or check this section in spot or vice versa. If you just want to use futures just check these on this section but I want both so I'm gonna check both then submit then you need to enable 2FA when creating an API key since mine is connected it's already asking for the 2FA code but if you have not enabled it yet I'm gonna show you instructions on how to set it up here is your API key and here is your API secret so from this point uh, you just need to go to three commas uh, three commas that IO I'm already logged. For you to add an exchange, go to My Portfolio in this uh, left panel and then click on Connect Account. Then go to Exchanges. Here you're going to see all of the exchanges available in three commas, like available to be connected in three commas. You're going to choose Bybit and you can choose whatever you can name your exchange. I'm just going to leave it on default. Copy. Then just click connect and then there's another prompt here uh, which you can choose ex uh, which exchange you want to add so there's three types that can be added bybit inver inverse perpetual bybit spot and bybit usd perpetual want all of them so add that is it uh, new bybit there you go